Cause he stay dropping them bangers Use that polo, don't let nobody see you, man Too much mud, sippin' on drunk, the reaper, man Scroll through pictures of myself, gotta face my demons, man If no one knows, come on what is up youtube it is showtime and i am back with yet again another video now in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys the best badges to be using on your center build on nba 2k23 i just want to kind of just let you guys know a little disclaimer that this video will apply to those for you for those of you guys who are playing current gen the badges pretty much work the same uh, before I get into that, I just wanted to kind of show off and brag a little bit. Um, I have max badges. I only started grinding this build around six days ago, and I'm a full-time college student, and I was still able to max out my badges. So if any of you guys want to know the badge method that I use to max out my badges, let me know. On current gen, I didn't max out my badges only because I haven't been playing very much of that game, and I've been playing a lot of next gen, and it's been a lot of fun to me. Uh, but I still have a method for you guys on both gens on the game on just how to be able to get max badges without a glitch. No glitch involved. Involved, no bands involved none of that so let me know if you guys want the method and i would drop it maybe after this video maybe even later so let me know uh nonetheless we'll get straight to today's video on the best badges you guys should be using on your center builds uh, like comment subscribe uh, we'll get straight into the video a badge i find useful is limitless now i know it hasn't gone up very much but that's only because i forgot to put in my dunk packages so i was playing this game for the longest while without even using it for those of you guys who do not know how to do quick drops limitless takeoff dunks maybe i'll do a whole, a whole tutorial on it but you guys want to push your um right stick forward and that way you get the quick drop animation for your dunks um that's the only reason why this hasn't moved up very much you guys have to be very attentive to your core challenge bar this is going to tell you how useful a badge is and this badge is not very useful at all um i mean sorry ugh, the build is sorry the badge is useful but i just haven't been triggering it sorry i completely said that wrong um, but that's how you're going to know if a badge isn't useless. Now, for Aerial Wizard, I had this only because I was catching lobs for um, my finishing badges as one of my methods. And it's cord, so it's a free badge. And if anyone wants to throw me a lob, I'm going to put it down every time. So, honestly, you can just put, get away with this on bronze, but I just had it cord on gold, so I just used it. Um, Giant Slayer and these three badges are just filler badges so I can get into the Tier 3 um, category for my badges. Giant Slayer doesn't seem like too bad of a badge. But honestly, it, it's actually a really good one, I've heard. But I haven't run into anyone. I play stage, so I haven't run into anyone really making builds taller than six foot nines. Uh, but it's nice to know that if I do, I can possibly use this badge to my advantage. I know I don't have the silver unlock, but that's because I haven't made my build. I haven't upgraded my build yet. My build's a 94. 90, it can actually be a 96. I'm waiting to get it 99, then I'll fully max it out. And I'm going to definitely get my Giant Slayer on silver. These two badges here are just fillers because I can't get that on silver because I didn't upgrade my build. But once I upgrade my build, my Giant Slayer will be on silver. And I won't be using Pro Touch and Post Sprint Technician. So the Finisher is actually a really, 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 really good badge. Only reason why it hasn't been cored pretty fast is because I'm more sitting corner. Um, I'm not really in the lane too much. Um, and I really haven't been using the badge in terms of like just getting through the lane dunking like in, in terms of finishing I haven't played much games of stage yet um, but even in my career I know you guys are probably saying it should accord through my career but not really because in my career I'm literally just catching lobs so that's why it hasn't been used a lot but so the finisher is a really 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 good badge and then we have rise up um, this badge does activate I will have to say that it does work like I said um, I'm, I'm coming from a break and I'm I'm, I've always been more fond of current gen, but I'm really starting to like next gen and the, the meta on next gen both games to be honest But even more next gen is spacing and isolation So there's not much situations where I'm usually dunking because my guard is very good um, But when I do I do see the rise of badge um, pop up I want to get it cord and then be able to use that my extra badges on possibly posterizer and fast twitch now posterizer is a really good badge but the thing about it is you guys have to know how to actually posterize people i'm going to be straight up honest i don't know how as i told you it's like my own my first week out here playing next gen because i recently came back i'm gonna learn apparently you have to time it if you know how to time your posterizers you are going to kill people with the posterizer badge you're gonna you're gonna eliminate people literally if you have contact dunks and this badge you're gonna eliminate people delete people um, so it's a good badge to use. I'm probably going to learn how to do it and then maybe drop a tutorial on it. Hopefully that's what my plan is now for shooting. I noticed that a lot of these shooting badges are garbage. The only shooting badges you guys need and corner specialist is overrated too. I'm going to be honest. The only the thing is, okay, so I'm going to go one by one. Cat and shoot is the best shooting badge in the game. I got this cord in literally like 24 hours of just playing the game and it, it, it really does work. It's probably the most important badge. Next important badge is Green Machine. Green Machine's amazing. The second best badge. Um, blinders, I just recently put it on, like literally today. I never used it and I heard it's a really good badge. So I'm going to actually play more games. 
I know I know I'm saying that and then like my core badge is so low I've literally only played like five games a stage recently. I've been really busy I'm trying to get catch up caught up on the 2k community and what's going on in the stage and stuff uh, In terms of gameplay, but blindness is good Apparently I'm gonna give it a try and hopefully my core will go up and I'll see how useful it is But I did hear it's good and I've only put it on like a few minutes ago literally last minute um, Through the advice of a friend corner specialist I've had on for quite a while and it's not doing much so you can definitely get away with it on bronze I feel like um a lot of the reason why i use some of these badges are just to kind of fill up spots so i can get into the tier three that's why i kind of have it up maybe what i'll do is i'll put volume shooter now volume shooter is a badge i want to talk about because it's really good probably arguably the best one as you guys can see i've cored it really fast but the problem with volume shooter that i have is as a stage center is that i'm not taking very much shots i know it says after a player has taken a small handful of shots but I don't really shoot the ball that often and I'm not really taking a handful of shots as a center in the corner I'm getting dotted if the, my man leaves the corner which is not very often I'd say on average I probably take around two maybe three shots every like two three shots every stage game so this is more a badge for prime if you're playing prime 5v5 or um and you're take or if you're just taking a handful of shots in general volume shoot is going to be your badge this badge is really 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 good um i'm almost have it on court hall of fame so if i was shooting the ball more i'd honestly definitely probably have this on hall of fame and it only cost me four point or two three yeah four points whatever it's in tier one so it's really really easy to get that's what i love about it so um claymore also i've had this on pretty much my whole experience for the past seven days and you can see how much it's went up not very much so that's why i have it on bronze it went up fast bronze or silver I, you wouldn't you don't need it any more than these two literally i've had it on for seven days and it still hasn't cored meaning it's not being used that much and the reason why is because it says increases the ability to knock down perimeter shots when spotting up patiently so if you if you take time to shoot the basketball that's pretty much the only time this is going to be useful i'm really a catch and shoot guy guy like you give me the ball and i'm gonna go i'm trying to get the shot off as fast as i can that's why claymore is not useful for people i feel as i feel like in stage and whatever mode you're playing you just want to get the shot off so um but have it on bronze just in case you do have a um a shot open and you're kind of spotting up patiently and that's basically it for shooting badges uh amped is a good one too that's cool uh, i just don't use it and then with the playmaking break start is very important um whether you're playing stage or prime because after you get the rebound and you want to hit your lock on the fast break on outlet so it's important that you guys have break starter and have the pass accuracy um i threw on floor general i have some extra badges so i threw it on that which works well teammates receive a boost to their offensive attributes when i'm in the game which is very nice when i upgrade my pass accuracy a bit more i'm going to get it on silver and say no to post playmaker that's probably what i'm going to end up doing post playmaker is really cool though i won't lie when passing out of the after an offensive rebound okay and it's kind of rare you get offensive rebound so um but if you do you get like a little dimer which is nice that's nice and then with the bailout very important especially if you're a shooting center if you're an outside center it's important that you guys have bailout because there's going to be times you guys are going to shoot and then when you guys shoot um you guys can pass out of it if it ends up being a bad shot attempt and then with the defense uh what i did was rebound chaser so i recently got this cord rebound chaser and anchor some of the most important badges in the game i will have to point out that i believe anchor is a little overrated i feel like gold is when you need it at you don't have to have a hall of fame i obviously wanted the 99 block on my build that's why i have it so yeah um anchor on gold is where i would settle for if i could do it different i might have made a 6-8 and just had my anchor on gold honestly because everyone gets mashed on next gen like literally everybody gets mashed it doesn't matter what you have it feels like it doesn't matter yeah rebound chaser hoff is a must um interceptor silver i like interceptor a whole lot interceptor is good um, I know it hasn't went up very much, but that's because I've had little reason to use it as I've only played five games a stage. I only, feel, I only feel like I play lanes or actually get lane steals when I'm playing stage, park, and stuff like that. So I know this will core out pretty fast when I start getting into it. Um, clamps, this is a like a trial and error badge I'm just trying out for now. I have a lot of extra badge points ever since I got my rebound chaser half cord, so I'm just trying to figure out how well this badge is. I didn't want to use chase on artists because I feel like this badge just never works. I wanted to give clamps a try. Um, sometimes there's times where I play on the ball, maybe a switch will happen or I pick up and it'd be nice to have clamps i'm still wondering if it works um that's kind of an, i'll have to update you guys on how good that badge is a uh, challenger challenger is overrated i like challenger but i noticed that it really i don't know it's weird the most i would have it on is bronze or silver you don't need it gold you honest you honest to god don't like i've used this badge for the past seven days and you can just, just guys just see that you know it moves but just not that much so i think silver or bronze is good for you if you're a center if you're a lock i'd obviously recommend it higher but for a center bronze or silver should be good for you workhorse hall of fame now um 
this badge is actually going up pretty fast I, I had it on bronze this whole time and just today literally after i quit out my rebound chaser i put it on half so it's going to move pretty fast very important badge all of you centers out there um even if you're a lock i feel like everybody should have the workhorse badge on it's really really important for helping you guys get those loose balls and then with the pause and then with the box out beast um box out beast is overrated I'm just going to say it out in front. Like, I feel like Box Out Beast is so overrated. I don't know what it is. I've been boxing out. I've been doing all that. I feel like Rebound Chaser is more important. You could probably get away with this joint on Silver. I'm being so serious. I'm going to leave it on hot for a little while and see if it makes a difference. Then again, I haven't played much games of stage. But then again, I really feel like I should have been getting it for my career and whatever I've been playing. So it's kind of weird. And then Glove, I recently put this on today too. So do not watch that core meter too much. But Glove is a really, really good badge. I like to spam square sometimes. Like sometimes I'll just get a rip, literally. Like glove is just so OP. I love I love glove. It's nice to have glove as a center. Um, you can just get those random rips, get a stop for your team, which can be very important. So there you guys basically have it. You know what? I was honestly gonna do like go on an inside build and show you the exact same thing, but that's not necessary. I think just through this alone, you guys can kind of get a better understanding of what badges are important or not. So, you know, just a little recap. The most important badges here would be limitless takeoff, rise up. If you know how to time it, post riser, slithery. Um, giant slayer is cool too um as far as shooting i feel like green machine catch and shoot blinders um volume shooter those are the good ones corner specialist and claymore in my opinion are mid amped can be another good one uh recap for playmaking break started bailout are your main guys i like floor general so i'll throw that in there too i'm gonna get that on silver and, and uh, for defense your main ones are probably anchor gold um rebound chaser hoth uh, interceptor is needed still having this clamps in the beta trying mode era phase thingy and then challenger's good it is good um bronze or silver at most if you're a center workhorse you must have this hall of fame box out beast overrated probably bronze or silver and then you guys have glove which i feel as if is underrated um and you guys can definitely get away with using so there you guys have the video for my recommended badge setup just some badges i wanted to throw in there i'm still learning the game still kind of getting adjusted to the pacing of the game and understanding it uh, the more i play it the more i'm gonna know so you guys will only get better and better tips as time goes on so i appreciate you guys who made it to the end of the video if you did enjoy please do leave a like comment subscribe and i will see y'all in the next one